Hey, let's welcome in Oriole prospect Ryan Mountcastle. We're going down to Florida for this interview. And uh, Ryan, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Yeah, it's going good. I mean, just, uh, you know, doing my baseball stuff, working out, and then hanging out by the pool. So it hasn't been too bad. That's not too bad. That sounds like a pretty good day there. <laughs> So, Ryan, uh, a lot of pro ball players I know in the Florida area and, and your area, you, you're in the near Orlando. Uh, so you told me before we started taping, you guys have been having some nice workouts. I mean, it's a little more than just playing catch in the backyard here. Yeah, yeah. We have, uh, you know, a couple couple big league pitchers. We got Zach Eflin, Nick Goody, and uh, my buddy Jay Gonzalez. I was with the Orioles and uh, – Jesse, Jesse Winker was out there the other day with the Reds. So, uh, yeah, we got a good group of guys. Do they ever throw you like a live BP where you're seeing some actual stuff? Yeah, we're actually uh, starting that next week just to start ramping up for hopefully that, you know, mid-June start or whatever they're thinking. But, um, yeah, once we get a little bit more word on an actual start date, I think we're going to start putting that more uh, into gear. So you were at spring training for the second straight year with the Orioles and this year on the 40-man, which you got to the 40-man roster in November. What's it been like just assimilating into the team? I mean, when you're a young kid, that's a big step. Fans may not know. A major league clubhouse, it's kind of like high school, you know. There are the top guys over here mm -hmm. and the young kids trying to fit in over yeah. here. And I mean, in the Orioles clubhouse, it's very welcoming, as we know. But what's been the process like fitting in there? Yeah, it's, it hasn't been too bad. I mean, I, this was my third big league spring training this past year, and um, I've, I've gotten to play with a lot of the guys that are up there right now. we got a cool young group of guys and uh, very welcoming and not really, uh, you know, too many people that, you know, are intimidating or anything like that. So it's it's been a pretty easy process to, you know, go up there and play with them. Yeah, and I mean, I've covered the Orioles long enough that it wasn't always that way. And by that, I don't mean there were bad guys in there. But back in the mm -hmm. day, there was it was an older team. And if you were a young kid, you were really kind of in a minority over here. It was, you know, it was a couple guys and a lot of older veteran guys. It's very different in this Orioles clubhouse, which must be very nice for a young guy like you. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of guys are easy to talk to. You don't have to feel like you're, you know, stuck inside a little shell being the young guy. And, uh, yeah, it's been very welcoming for sure. Does that help your play on the field? Because, you know, if you're loose and relaxed in the clubhouse, you might play as well as you can outside of it. Exactly, yeah. I feel a lot more loose. You know, it's a lot easier to go out there and just play your game and play hard for sure. So, Ryan, you have seen all the stops in the Oriole Minor League. You were drafted out of high school in 2015. You start the Gulf Coast League. You play a little bit at Aberdeen. You see all the four full-season squads. So tell me a little bit about that progression as a player. When you're just starting out, you, you probably feel like, oh, my God, look at all the steps I got I to gotta go through to get to Baltimore. But you've now gone through them all. Uh, tell me a little bit about that multi-year process, really. Yeah, I mean, I guess before I got drafted, I didn't know there were so many levels in the minor leagues. And, uh, you know, to make it all the way up to AAA, where I've been, it's, it's been a fun ride. Met a lot of cool guys, had some fun playing, and, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it for sure. Is there different ways you get coached and instructed when you're just out of high school as opposed to you're at AAA and you're on the cusp of the major leagues? Yeah, I mean – Fresh out of high school, you're just still trying to learn the game. You don't really know everything about the game, all the little little small details about it. As opposed to AAA, it's more, you know, getting your work in and you basically have gone through the whole minor league so you know what to expect out of pro ball. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's more on your own in AAA. In terms of the full season leagues, Delmarva through Norfolk, what's the biggest jump from what team to what team? Um, and I was, I would probably say that the high A to double A jump was was pretty big for me. Um, just making that adjustment. I mean, a lot of double A pitchers have had a lot of experience, either in a little bit in the big leagues or you know a lot in the minor leagues, so they know what they're doing. They know how to throw all their pitches for strikes, and hitters know the zone really well and you know, can barrel up balls pretty good, too. And you've had success hitting at all the levels. Are you a different hitter 
at Norfolk last year than you were at the Gulf Coast League. Uh, you, statistically, you're similar because you're doing well at all the levels. But has your hitting evolved in, in some ways? Yeah, I mean, I've, I feel like I've evolved in a lot of ways. I mean, I, my swing isn't the exact same as it was when I was, you know, a rookie or coming out of high school. Um, you know, I just made a few adjustments that I thought would help my game, help my, you know, power numbers being, you know, like a corner infielder. I got to put up pretty good power numbers. So I've, I've evolved my swing into, you know, something that I like and what's comfortable for me that will put up numbers. and. Uh, yeah, in the in the field, I've I've been all over the place, but I mean, I feel like I've I've gotten pretty comfortable, you know, at first and left so far during spring. So I uh, made some good strides there too. Yeah, I mean, you look very comfortable in left field in spring training, and you had some difficult chances. And the other thing that coaches have been pointing out for years, if you can catch the ball in Florida at one o'clock, you, you can catch it anywhere because the wind, the sun, so many elements. Yeah. Um, you know, where did you feel as comfortable as you looked out there? Yeah, I mean, that's true too, though, that the Florida sun is, is pretty brutal out there in left field sometimes, so you're having to battle that. And I think that's probably the hardest outfield I'm going to get. And uh, I felt pretty comfortable out there still in spring. Would it be okay with you if that turns out to be the spot? Yeah, yeah, wherever they want. I mean, I just want to be in the lineup and, you know, help them win games and, you know, just have fun. I've said this to you before, and I so, and I so respect your, I guess, uh, calmness about asking que answering questions about defense, which you constantly get. And I think, <laughs> I think, okay, there might be questions about his defense. I thought you looked pretty damn good in in the outfield, small sample size in spring. But the fact that we ask these questions takes away from. Oh, by the way, he was the International League MVP and the Orioles Minor League Player of the Year. So some good things <laughs> happened, too. Yeah. <laughs> and there probably must be times you've been interviewed by me or whoever, not, not singling me out, yeah. that you must think, are they ever going to ask me about hitting all those home runs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a lot of them are about defense. But, uh, you know, I enjoy it. I, it's, you know, that's, you know, one of the main questions where I'm going to play. So, uh, yeah, just, I guess, first base and left were the two in uh, spring, so that's where I'm going to work on. You know, when we were talking about moving up and you talked about your offense and making adjustments to keep the power there without giving away all your secrets, what kind of adjustments did you make? Um, I mean, I guess a little bit in the weight room and a little bit on the field, you know, just trying to get bigger, stronger, and faster, all that in uh, the weight room to get ready for the season. And uh, hitting-wise, just trying to, you know, lift the ball and trying to get some air under and try to, you know, put up some power numbers. In interviewing Gary Kendall, who's managed you at AA and AAA, he really gave a glowing assessment. And Gary is, I've found, very brutally honest. If there's shortcomings, he doesn't mind pointing it out because the players mm -hmm. need to know it too. But in, he was very glowing in his praise of, of you, not just what you statistically did, but he felt last year and maybe the year before too, your maturity level grew. You were a great teammate. I mean, things that you want in a player at any age. Did you feel that? How did some of that come together for you? Yeah, I mean, playing under Gary has, has been pretty good the last couple of years. I mean, he's a great coach, and uh, he's helped me out a lot, um, especially that, you know, that transition to the outfield this year. He's was always, you know, willing to give me some extra work before BP or after BP, whatever it was. And, uh, yeah, just – I feel like every year, I mean, every player, not just me, you know, matures and learns new stuff about the game and, you know, becomes a better version of himself. What does being a good teammate mean to you? What, what is it exactly? Just a guy that's easy to talk to, a guy that's, you know, easygoing and, you know, is always trying to make the team better, always trying to, you know, bring others up and try to make them better. And I think one thing, and I bet you've sensed it too, about the Orioles <clears throat> in the last year or two, and I was when Brandon Hyde took over, and I'm not knocking Buck in this way, but I just think the, the pressure inside that room came down. Brandon just has a way of making everybody relax, play free and easy, try to get the best out of players. Uh, sure, it's your livelihood, and this is very important to you, but you just got to be able to relax and play. And so um, – is that how the Orioles are right now? Is it kind of that kind of atmosphere? 
yeah, it's, uh, you know, a little bit less stressful, I would say. I mean, it's being a young guy when Buck was there, it was a little intimidating and, uh, you know, I'd, I played a little tight, whatever it was, but now it's uh, pretty relaxed with Brandon there, and um, it's it's a good atmosphere. I mean, that really means something because you don't want to go up there thinking every at bat I got to impress the brass here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you go up there and you're like, all right, like I'm gonna try to get my job done, but at the same time, you know, you're not gripping the bat too hard or you know, squeezing your glove too hard, anything like that. So Ryan, when <laughs> You're going through a season. I'm sure you're talking to family, friends, fellow teammates. If you're going through a tough time or you want to talk it out with someone, who are you reaching out to? Uh, probably my, my parents and sometimes just my teammates, guys that I'm close to. I'll, uh, you know, talk to them, see, see what advice they got for me. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, family and friends. It's just anybody to – I like to just get my mind off stuff. So I'll just, you know, maybe call a buddy from back home or something like that just to, you know, clear my mind. Yeah. Do you do a lot of that during the course of a season? Uh, Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'd like to, you know, talk to people back home, see how everybody's doing. I like to, you know, go and hang out with some of the buddies, some of my buddies on the team, do whatever, just to, you know, get away from the game a little bit. For fans who may not know, tell them how difficult the minor league lifestyle is. And I've worked in the minor leagues, too, and been around it enough to know the travel, uh, the big, you know, it is literally almost night and day difference, big leagues and the minors. Now, AAA, you know, okay, that's a little better than maybe lower levels, but you've seen it all, man. What, how difficult is it? Yeah, it's uh, not easy. I mean, you're having to go on like sometimes even like 12, 11, 12 hour bus rides and the roads obviously aren't the best. So you're trying to sleep, but you're feel like you're in a roller coaster sometimes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's definitely not easy. There's so many levels too that you got to grind through and uh, being up in AAA was a little better. We had a, you know, a sleeper bus. So we had a, like our little beds in there, which was pretty sick. And, but uh, you know, the levels before that, that wasn't the case. You're having to double up on a, bus right next to somebody shoulder to shoulder with them for 10 hours and that's not very fun your body feels like crap <laughs> coming off and you're tired and you're getting in at sometimes five six in the morning and having to play that day too so that's that's not the, very easy <laughs> yeah sleeper bus on every trip in triple a yeah we uh we had one mostly for every trip yeah hey that's big time buddy that is a difference maker yeah, <laughs> maybe help me out a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I bet it did. Yeah. <laughs> so Ryan, in summing up, I mean, everybody wants baseball back and probably no one more than you because at some point in this season, and hopefully we do have one, I think there's a great chance you debut for the Orioles, whether it's opening day or game 30, 40, whatever. Uh, how ready do you feel? feel ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the season to start. And, uh, yeah, if I happen to do make my debut – might be a little weird. I don't know if I'd really count it as my debut because we know fans there or anything. <laughs> but right. uh, yeah, no. But it would would be a really cool experience, and uh, I'm excited for the year to come. Hey, if you hit one out of the park, it's going to count, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> They'll be keeping score when you get to the big leagues. Not that awesome. they aren't now, but everything <laughs> is tracked even more so than ever. Yeah. But. Exactly. Hey, Ryan, great great to visit with you, man. Keep having fun with the workouts in Florida and hope to see you soon. All right, thanks for having me on, Steve. You got it. All right, I'll see you.